How's it going? This is Hoyman and today we're taking a look at the SH Figure Arts Wars Gill figure. So for the box, because this is a web exclusive figure, you don't get a window to see the figure inside, but you still have a nice illustration of the figure on the front. And then picture of the figure again on the side with all these nice intricate patterns. The same again on the other side. And then the top, you just have the front extending to the top. And then you have some legal stuff for the bottom. And then the back, you have various pictures of the figure, as well as some more legal stuff. So open the box, just lift open the side flap. And you just remove the front cover. And there's the figure all together with his accessories. So first you do get some instructions showing what the figure comes with and how to operate the accessories. Not too much going on. So here's the actual figure and as expected from figure arts, the sculpt and detail on this figure is really phenomenal. Just lots of stuff and details going on. And pretty much all the details you'd expect the characters to have is pretty much present. So taking a closer look at the face, I feel that they've definitely captured the likeness of the character really well. Looks just like him. And then it's painted in a nice metallic silver for the head. Looks really nice. And you can even see all the sculpt work of the mechanical parts inside. Looks really nice. And then the eyes themselves are painted in a nice metallic blue. And then this extends to the white horn at the front. So the horn itself actually has a nice glossy finish. So it's a nice contrast between the metallic and the glossy. Looks really nice. And then of course you have the metallic vents painted on the top. And then for the back you have more of the kind of hair mechanical parts cupping around the head as well as the top with all these mechanical layers here. And then these extend outwards to the metallic blue wings. Again, really well sculpted and look really nice, especially with contrast to the glossy white. And then you do have the metallic silver vents painted in there as well. And these little parts here is actually a solid piece. So they are quite fragile. So you have to be careful of those. Same with the horn and this part that dangles in front of his face. You have to be careful of that as well. Moving down to the collar, really well sculpted again. Nice use of the metallic gold for the rims. And then again, you have the nice kind of mechanical sculpt work as well. Looks really cool. And then moving down to the torso, there's just a lot of detail going on here. All these kind of little gems or kind of med medallions are all individually sculpted and painted. And they have all that nice metallic and glossy finishes. Looks really nice and effective. And that extends out to the more mechanical parts of his armor. And again, to the back. The sculpt work on mechanical mechanical parts is really well done. And then all these blue parts are sculpted and has that again, really nice metallic blue finish. Whereas the white part of the coat is a nice glossy finish. So there's just so much detail going on here. On the undercoat, you have more of the mechanical parts and the metallic finishes. And then at the ends of the coat, these nice feathery wings of the blue, really well sculpted. And then it even has the vents here underneath and they are painted in a nice kind of semi glossy kind of finish of a kind of gun metal paint. Looks really nice. For the shoulders, again, these metallic wings continue. You have the nice glossy metallic finishes of the paints again. And these extend down to the kind of cloth parts here. They're actually solid pieces, but I think for the suit, they're actually just kind of capes. 
And for the shoulders, lots of detail going on with the sculpt work and the metallic colors. And that extends all the way down to the sleeves. And I do like how there's black that kind of highlights all the panel linings here. Makes it look really effective. And then these strips, tassels, I think the, that's what they're called. They're like a softer material. And then you can see the hands underneath there as well. Down to the legs, more of the kind of panel linings and the metallic colors continue all the way down to his legs. And these have the same kind of finishes as her sleeves as well. And then finally the shoes are really well sculpted and detailed and they have the nice metallic silver to finish it off. So definitely a very impressive looking figure. Really nice sculpt work all the way around. So for articulation, the neck is on a double ball joint. So he can look down about that much. He can look up about that much. And although his collar is pretty big, it doesn't really hinder much of the head since it's really sculpted really widely. So it allows for a lot of room. So you can look up that much. You can tilt his head side to side as well as twist, but it does kind of restrict it a bit. For the shoulders, so the shoulder pads themselves are on a hinge that's connected on the front and the back. And this allows for a little bit of movement. And then for the shoulder itself, it's on a board joint that's connected deep into the torso. And then there's this separate piece that cups around the joint. So you can get quite a lot of movement from the arm. And then the shoulder itself is on a hinge. So you can bring his arm up to the side. He's also got the bicep swivel. He's got double jointed elbows. And then the hands are on board joints, but they are kind of restricted due to the tassels and you can't really see the hands anyway so but it's nice that they, they are actually on ball joints the torso itself is on a single ball joint at the top so because of its sculpt work it's really wide this allows for a lot of range so you can really get some good range here for the torso and then before i forget these cape parts are on the ball joint connected to the shoulders so this allows for quite a lot of range as well and they can even twist them about as well so back to the torso around the hips there's a ball joint as well so you can move his legs around however you like and also twist and then each leg is on the ball joint so you can also pull them downwards so you can kick about that far up which is quite a lot kick that far back you can kick about that far to the side. It's a bit restricted due to the coat, but the coat itself, oop, that can, that can easily pop off. But the coat itself is on a hinge, so you can move those outwards to the side that much, and you can kick about that far to the side. He also has the thigh swivel. It's a bit stiff, but it is there. He's got the double jointed knees, and then he's got ball jointed ankles, but it is quite restricted due to the way it's designed. So you can move forward about that much, move back that much, lean side to side, twist. And then finally, he's got the toe hinge, which is quite a lot of movement. But for some reason, it can go that way as well. So it's quite odd in that design. So for articulation, he's got all the articulation you'd expect the figure arts figure to have. But that's the figure. Let's take a look at the accessories. So for hands, he comes with a pair of fists, a pair of open palmed hands, and then finally a pointing hand. So my final thoughts are, boy, do I have some thoughts about this figure. Okay, so first off, I want to say the skull work on this figure is just phenomenal. Really captures the likeness of the character really well. Again, like I said, all the detail you'd expect is pretty much present on this figure. So figure arts definitely did a good job in terms of the skull work and the detail on this figure. 
but it's the engineering and the articulation is where this figure kind of falls apart on. So my first complaint, and it's quite a massive complaint actually, is the tassels. So because they're sculpted, because they are softer material and they're sculpted one way, they always tend to just kind of stay straight. So even if you try to pose the figure, for example, if you point the arm upwards, the tassels still just point straight up. And that looks really, really odd because with tassels, they usually just kind of fall down and drip down for, from um, gravity. But with the figure, it just seems like no matter which way you pose the figure, it's going to have these tassels just pointing straight up. And it looks really, really odd. It would be nice if they included interchangeable tassels with them kind of in different angles and shapes. So you can kind of get more posability. But because they just gave us just these one default pointing down straps, it really does limit the figure. I'm personally not a huge fan of having cloth on figures, but I think it would have been nice if the tassels were actually made from actual cloth. Either that, or they had some wire inside each tassel so you can bend them to however you want. So like I said, because the tassels are only one way up, it really does limit how you can pose this figure to make it look naturally. So because they're always pointed down, the only natural pose you can do with the figure is to just have the arms pointed down like so and in terms of the articulation the shoulder pads because they're so large and have very limited movement it really does limit the arms quite a bit so you can't really bring them forward all that much and to the side they're a bit restricting as well so it's quite restricted there and also these cape parts like to pop off really easily. And although they're on ball joints, they don't really offer too much uh, range. So if you try to pose the arm, it's gonna really get in the way here, and get in the way of the cape as well. And then for the legs themselves, because the coat is a solid piece, it really does hinder quite a lot of range in the legs as well. So you try to pose the legs outwards and the coat is just going to get in the way and then it will start to get in the way with these cape parts as well. And for whatever reason, this figure has a lot of difficulty standing on his own. Like he always just kind of loses balance. I don't know if it's because the joints and the ankles are loose. They are actually quite stiff, but for whatever reason, he just has a difficult time standing on his own. So back to the tassels, they cover pretty much all his hands. So you can't really see them anyway. So it almost makes his interchangeable hands kind of useless in a way because you can't even see them. And because they're always pointed down, you can't really use the pointing hand or anything like that that makes it look natural. So for the most part, although he's got all the articulation a figure arts figure to have, because of the tassels and the limitation of the shoulders and the coat the only kind of good pose you're going to get out of this figure is just him standing completely straight which is a bit of a shame because if you know this character he often has a really childish kind of personality and likes to have a lot of tantrums so you can't really give him a lot of like very childish or tantrum that kind of poses because it just looks really odd and the limitation in the parts of the articulation really hinder it as well and this is kind of rare for me to say but i think overall this figure probably would have been better as a figure art zero just so that you can get kind of more of the stylized poses in the cape and the tassels and kind of make it look really flow better as a figure but as a figure arts figure i think overall a great design of a character really well sculpted translates well into how the figure looks but doesn't translate well in terms of the articulation as far as this figure goes anyway so my final thoughts if you are a fan of this character or the show 
I do kind of recommend this figure, but just be aware that you're going to be really limited on what poses you can do with this figure. And because he is a web exclusive figure, he is kind of on the pricier side, but because he is an older figure as well, from what I've seen, some places he's quite a high price, but some places he's quite cheap. So if you can find him for a price that you're willing to accept for how limited this figure is, then I can still kind of recommend this figure. But just keep in mind with all the things that I've just mentioned. But that's my review. Thank you for watching and enjoy some pictures. Thank you.